Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have another, yet another dupes video. I feel like I've been on a roll with these and I'm sorry if it's like too much, but I had to get this video out because when I was actually preparing to do my last video, which was my like regular perfume dupes video, as I was doing that, I was coming across a lot of celebrity perfumes that were dupes to a lot of perfumes that I own and perfumes that I have smelled. And basically just right then and there, I kind of just got the idea to do a whole separate video on just celebrity perfumes that smell like expensive perfumes. So that is what this video is. These are all celebrity perfumes, meaning you can find every single one of these perfumes for like $20 and under, yet they smell like all of these uh, high-end, more expensive, like $100 plus perfumes that I'm gonna share with you guys. They are all pretty much like designer dupes. So in today's video, I have eight dupes to share with you guys. But before we get into this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on. And if you wanna see all of these amazing celebrity designer dupes, then just keep watching. Right, so the first designer perfume that I have found a dupe for is the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo perfume. It looks like this. I do not own this perfume in my collection, but I am very, very familiar with it. I have smelled it countless times. I have almost bought it a few times because it is not necessarily a perfume that I hate, but one of the main reasons why I haven't actually bit the bullet and actually bought it is just because it is kind of a heavy patchouli type of scent. As much as I always say I hate patchouli, I don't hate all patchouli perfumes. I like patchouli in the way that I like patchouli, if that makes any sense. And I feel like the original Jimmy Choo is a little bit of a heavy patchouli scent. That patchouli definitely stands out. There's other notes involved within that perfume, but to my nose, the patchouli is the main note that I can pick up. But it is kind of like a sweet, I don't really want to call it a fruit chewy because although there is like tangerine and pear in it, like a couple fruits, I don't think that it is just like a fruit fruity slash patchouli scent. I think it's just more so of like a sweet patchouli. It has toffee in it too, which I think is what gives it like that sweeter feel. I don't wanna say that I'm never going to buy that perfume because I may. I do find that it does kind of get a little smoother the more that it is on your skin. So I don't know, maybe one day you guys will see me haul that perfume, but for now I do have a pretty good dupe of it and that is Kim Kardashian True Reflection. So I hadn't really put this dupe together until I was doing a little bit of research on this perfume and I was on Fragrantica and I saw that one of the compared perfumes was Jimmy Choo and I always knew that this perfume reminded me of something, like I had definitely smelled a perfume like this. I just never connected the dots. Now I will just say, I don't think that these are 100% dupes, I would call them 90 to 95% similar. This one also has a pretty heavy patchouli, but unlike the original Jimmy Choo perfume, I find the patchouli a lot more smooth in here. So for me, that translates to a lot more wearable. I do find this one a bit more of a fruit chewy than the original Jimmy Choo is because this one has plum, it has peach, it has some bergamot. So I do find that those fruits do stand out in here a lot more, especially the plum. I think if you love plum notes, you would love this. I almost consider this kind of like a Jimmy Choo with a plum note kind of a perfume. I almost get like a little hint of Rebel Fleur, Rihanna's Rebel Fleur to this as well. If you love the original Jimmy Choo, I think that you would equally really like this because there is differences like I said, but that kind of core DNA, that really specific patchouli-like scent is definitely in here. So I think especially if you are a lover of patchouli, you would definitely love this. But if you are like me and you don't love patchouli, I still would recommend to give this a try because I do find that the patchouli in here is a lot more smooth than it is in the original Jimmy Choo. And if you love plum, you will definitely love this. This is like an old perfume, way before she even had KKW, so you can find this for super cheap. I'm pretty sure you could probably find this somewhere for like 15 bucks. I'm pretty sure I paid like no more than $20. I think I bought this at, I believe, Burlington. This next dupe is one of my favorite celebrity perfume discoveries just because the original perfume is like my true love. I love this perfume so, so much. It's within like my 
almost like my top 10 perfumes for life category. So the perfume that I'm going to be duping is of course the one and only Lolita Lampica. If you know my channel and you watch me, you already know my love for this perfume, so I feel like I don't even have to describe it. But if you are new here, this is like a pretty heavy, licorice, very sweet cherry perfume. If you love cherry notes, this is definitely the one for you. And I am a sucker for cherry notes. And I equally think the licorice in here is absolutely stunning. I know that licorice is not the most desirable note or even just in general, I know people don't like licorice. And I mean, I get a hint of licorice in here, but in a very sweet way, not in the typical way, like if you were actually smelling licorice in front of you like i know that that's a really pungent scent and that's not what this has it's like a really really sweet cherry like kind of licorice -y type feel it almost smells like candy to me and i always describe this perfume as being very whimsical and just fairy like it is such a sexy perfume in my opinion it is a very sweet perfume so i think to really appreciate this you would kind of have to like sweeter scents but I have found the perfect dupe and I would call this like a spot on 100% dupe and that perfume is Paris Hilton Dazzle. Oh, I love this perfume. So good. I will say though, this one, if for whatever reason you find that the licorice in here is a little bit too punchy for you, this one actually doesn't even have a licorice note. So this one just smells like cherries it kind of has a little bit of like a fresher feel but overall the scent of this is still in here like definitely i think that they are so close to one another and this is so much cheaper i know lolita lampica is pretty affordable at this point it's been around for a long time but it's not gonna get as cheap as this one does like this one you can find for 20 dollars and under for sure especially if you end up finding it at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, uh, Burlington, which I think is where I found mine. I highly recommend Dazzle. If you're into cherry notes, this is a stunning scent. There's also like champagne in here. So I think that's why, why this has kind of like a fresh, sort of even like bubbly sort of feel to it. So if you want a dupe to Lolita Lampica, check out Paris Hilton Dazzle. So another perfume that I really, really love would definitely have to be Juliet Has a Gun Lipstick Fever. If you're into like that powdery makeup-y type of smell, you love the scent of lipstick and all of that, like that really, really sexy, feminine makeup type scent, then I think you will definitely love this. I think this is such a sexy perfume. Every time I wear it, I always get compliments. There's raspberry in here, there's violet, there's iris. It's a little bit woody, it has vanilla. There's definitely a lot of sweetness to it. It smells like delicious, sexy makeup. But I have found a perfume that smells quite like this. This dupe is more so a dupe in the sense that it smells like this category of perfumes. Like it smells like the perfumes that smell like makeup, like makeup powder, very sweet, very feminine. And that perfume is the KKW Nude Sand. I believe this is like fairly new, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this came out like just last year. I really love this. It reminds me a lot of Lipstick Fever. It also kind of reminds me of Lipstick On by Replica. They're just really, really feminine, sweet type of scents. They're woody. They definitely have a lot of sex appeal to them. And I think these are definitely for sure like compliment magnets. They're like clubbing type of scents, like kind of an occasion where you want to be noticed, maybe for like a first date or something like that because they're definitely attention grabbing in all the right ways so i definitely recommend these again this is not like a hundred percent dupe of like one another but i think this one is just kind of a dupe for all of these kind of makeup type of scents like like i said replica lipstick on lipstick fever uh product candy gloss you know all of those perfumes that have like that stereotypical makeup -y type of scent if that makes any sense so definitely check out Nude Sand by KKW if you're into that. This next scent is definitely one that you should take with like a grain of salt because I do not and have not smelled the actual designer version of this celebrity perfume and that is Miracle by Lancome. But I can tell you that there's a lot of YouTubers that have verify that these are like one and the same. They're super, super similar. If you go on Fragrantica and you do a little bit of research on it, the number one dupe for Miracle by Lancome is 
Just Me by Paris Hilton. Now, I can describe this scent to you. I obviously can't describe Miracle by Lancome. It definitely gives me a very expensive vibe. I could definitely see this as a scent that is released by Lancome. It has a very, very rosy, ultra feminine, but in like a pretty innocent type of way. I don't think that this is sexy provocative. It's just like sexy effortless. It's very classy. It's very elegant. There's some raspberry in here. There's pink pepper, there's rose, which I think is the most prominent um, note in here, but in a very modern way, very like almost aquatic, it smells ultra fresh, like very, very fresh, kind of like the perfect spring scent. I was going to say summer, but there's a lot of florals happening in here, so that's why I'm kind of more so saying that this would be the perfect springtime scent. There is a little bit of vanilla in here, which is giving it a little bit of sweetness. And like I said, there's raspberry, so it's kind of fruity in that way. And then it does have a little bit of like a woody dry down, which I think really enhances that expensive type of scent to this. I really don't think that this smells like a celebrity perfume at all. I think this smells very, very elevated for a celebrity perfume, especially for it being like $20 even less. I would definitely say that if you love the scent of Miracle by Lancome definitely try this out because Again, like I said, although I cannot confirm that they are like one and the same I know a lot of people have and it's on Fragrantica But I just wanted to kind of like put this out there in case you really love that scent and you wanted like a more affordable version Or you love that type of scent and you wanted to know like which scents would kind of smell like it without actually having to pay for that Definitely check out Just Me by Paris Hilton. Okay, this next dupe is actually not a designer dupe. And the dupe of this perfume is already pretty inexpensive. But the celebrity version is obviously a lot cheaper. And I feel like this um, perfume is a little bit harder to find. Like it's not so like mainstream. And the perfume that I'm going to be duping is Oscar de la Renta Bella Essence. So I thought I would include this because after I was going through all my celebrity perfumes, I came across a perfume that smells almost identical to this perfume. So I thought that I would let you guys know. I love this perfume personally. I find this so mass appealing. Like I really don't find anything polarizing about this scent, but I feel like when you go on the reviews on Fragrantica, I think that there's a lot of people that dislike this scent and I don't understand why because I genuinely think that this is a really, really pretty, sexy perfume and it's not that generic. I feel like that's kind of the thing that a lot of people say is, oh, that perfume is way too generic. I feel like it's not. I have so many perfumes in my collection and I don't really have any perfumes that smell like this other than this dupe that I'm going to show you. This has raspberry in it. It's a little bit fresh because there's some grapefruit in here so it has a little bit of a citrus type of aspect there's vanilla it's very sweet uh there's jasmine there's rose and then it does have a pretty prominent sort of musky feel but it's in a very clean way i have a very big love hate relationship with musk musk has to be done in such a specific way for me to like it and this is the type of way where i like it because it's a very clean musk type of scents. There's a lot of perfumes that claim to be that clean musk, but to my nose, they smell like literal BO. And this does not, I can tell you that. And then there's also a Roxanne in here. And that's that type of note where it kind of ends up smelling different on each person. It's like that molecular note. So that's basically the gist of this perfume. But the dupe that I have found of it is Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. I did not put these two together. This perfume has been in my collection for a decent amount of time. And this one is kind of newer-ish to my collection. And when I first bought this, I had no idea. Even when I smelled this, I did not connect the two until I was doing, again, I always end up finding all these dupes because of Fragrantica, but I was doing some research on this perfume and then one of the perfumes that it was compared to was Bella Essence and when I actually went into my collection and smelled the two side by side, I was like, oh my god, they definitely do smell similar. These two both have musky scents. I think that that's what really 
kind of makes these smell very similar. But they both have a very heavy, prominent, musky type of scent. And it's that type of clean musk. But I will say this one is way more musky. And honestly, if I could choose one, I do prefer the musk that is in here more than the musk that is in here. Like this one is very musky. It is still a clean musky scent and mixed with like some amber note that this has. It kind of has like almost like a powdery sort of musky scent, but it's like borderline too much musk. <laughs> Whereas this one I feel like is like the perfect amount. And then this also has champagne in it, which is kind of random, but it kind of gives us like a fizzy, bubbly, more upbeat, effervescent like type of smell. But scent wise, I think they're the same type of scent. It's just this one is a lot more in every aspect. So just to be completely honest, I do prefer this one if you could find this one, which I found this for very inexpensive at like Burlington. I think I found it for like $25 and I think I got this for like 15 or 16. So I mean, it's not like that big of a price difference. I do think that if you go the online route, this one you can find for like 40 or $50. So that's why I am calling these dupes because no matter which route you go, this one will always be cheaper. If you love really, really musky scents, definitely go for this because you're going to get the same type of smell that is in here. So that is Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. This next scent is not so much of a like popular scent, but I do feel like the people that are into this perfume are really, really into this perfume. It's a very, very feminine, very delicate, very elegant sort of a scent, a perfect springtime scent because it is ultra floral. If you are into florals, I think you are really, really going to love this. The reason why I bought this perfume is because I found out that Adrienne Bailome actually wear this. Like this is like one of her signature perfumes and I like was obsessed with her. I watch her YouTube videos and that's why I bought it. But I knew buying this that it wasn't really what I like specifically, but I feel like the way that she talked about it, I was like, I'm gonna try it. And I feel like I was trying to convince myself that I really like this scent. I don't hate it, but it is just, it doesn't really fit into what I like. That perfume is Toka Florence. So this is by no means an affordable perfume. You can find this at Sephora for I think like 80 or $90. I do love this bottle though. It looks very like vintage to me. On your little perfume stand, this looks so pretty, but I, I'm heavily thinking about selling this perfume just because of how much I haven't worn this. I do have a perfume in my collection also that is a lot more inexpensive than this is. And that perfume is the KKW Red Lips. These two smell identical to me, like 100% dupes. They have gardenia, both have gardenia. And as you guys know, I am not the biggest fan of that scent and it is pretty heavy in here, but it's also mixed with a ton of other florals like there's gardenia, tuberose, jasmine, violet leaf, grapefruit leaf, iris. They're a little bit musky, a little bit woody. Just basically really, really heavy florals. If you are a floral fan, I think you would absolutely love these two. They're very feminine, like ultra. They just smell like the most elegant feminine woman that you have ever met. So definitely, if you want an alternative to Toka Florence, check out KKW Red Lips. It's a lot cheaper. You do get a lot less product, like this only comes in like a standard one fluid ounce. But scent wise, I really cannot pick up on any differences between these two. Like they smell identical to me. So that's why I wanted to include this. I know I said that I don't love this scent, but just because I don't love this, I know a lot of you may love this. Like not everybody has the same preferences as I do. So that's why I'm including this dupe. Next so. dupe is on a pretty popular designer perfume. I think if you are an avid lover, like you, if you are a true, true fan to the original Thierry Mugler Alien perfume, you may not have liked this perfume. I kind of fall into that category. I like this perfume just as it being like a perfume on its own. But the fact that this is a flanker to the original Alien definitely disappoints me because being somebody that is such a huge fan of Alien, I was hoping that there was at least some little shred of the same kind of DNA in here and there is not. And the perfume I'm talking about is the new Alien Goddess. I think this is the newest flanker that, they ha that has come out for Alien. So if you don't love Alien, you will love this because there is nothing Alien-like about this perfume. It does not smell like the original whatsoever, not even hints of it. This is a coconut water slash vanilla type of scent. It is 
such a perfect summertime scent. It smells like summertime. It smells like the beach. It smells like vacation. There's some jasmine in here, but not really. Like, there is jasmine. I just don't smell it. All I can smell is just coconut water and it has bourbon vanilla so it's kind of like a little bit more of a boozy type of vanilla scent this is a very big crowd pleaser like major crowd pleaser a lot of people say they get a million and one compliments with this scent because there's just nothing polarizing about it and i have found a little dupe this is the second kkw dupe that i have in this video but this is the kkw gold heart this smells pretty similar to me this one also has that same type of coconut scent that Alien Goddess has. Alien Goddess has coconut water, whereas this one has coconut nectar, but they both smell like coconut to me. So they both are like that really, really similar coconut slash vanilla type of scent. They smell really good. I find them both to be really sexy, especially this one. I actually really, really love this perfume. There's definitely some sweetness to them. It's a little bit musky, definitely woody. These give me vibes of like you're on vacation and you just came back from the beach, you're taking a shower, you're getting ready for dinner, and then you just spray these on because it just gives me vacation vibes all the way. They're like the perfect summer type of scents. And coincidentally, they have the same type of gold packaging. Check out KKW, the gold heart, if you want a nice little dupe to Alien Goddess. And the very last dupe that I have to share with you guys is again, one of those dupes where I don't know what the actual expensive perfumes smell like, but it's one of those things where I just wanna share it with you guys after discovering it. So the designer that I'm going to be duping is Gucci by Gucci, the Eau de Parfum perfume. This is a discontinued perfume, which is why I really, really wanted to include it in this video, just in case you guys had that perfume. And it's really hard to find nowadays because it is discontinued. That's why I'm including this in case you wanted to find a little cheaper alternative that will get you kind of the same type of smell. And that perfume is Believe by Britney Spears. This was included in my and cheap perfumes that smell really expensive perfumes this video right here which is doing so well on my channel i think this is like the most viewed video on my channel it has like 118,000 views right now which blows my mind i included this in that video and even in that video i said that this was a dupe to gucci by gucci because a lot of people have said that it's on fragrantica and if you actually dissect the notes of both of them, they have insanely similar notes. The Gucci perfume has top notes of guava and pear, while Believe has guava and tangerine. So kind of different, but also pretty similar. And Gucci has tiara flower in the middle notes, while Believe has lime blossom and honeysuckle. So still kind of like that middle notes of like that floral type of scent and then the base notes are also pretty similar so you got patchouli honey and musk in the original gucci and then you have patchouli praline and amber in this one so i feel like the notes are very very similar for both and this one to me smells super high end so definitely giving me vibes of something that gucci would come out with like i really think that this is a high-end perfume disguised as a cheap celebrity perfume and I do not find this smelling like anything that Britney Spears has come out with like this doesn't smell like any of the fantasies or really any of her perfumes I do find that a lot of her perfumes are kind of like that generic a celebrity perfume type of scent but this one definitely stands out to me so i definitely had to share that in this video so definitely check out believe by britney spears even on its own this is such a stunning guava type of scent it has like a candy like feel but then that patchouli really elevates it but it's a really really smooth wearable very sexy type of patchouli and i love this like this is a stunning stunning scent to me i will recommend this to the end of time so definitely check this one right, out so that is it for this video i hope you guys liked yet another dupe video from me i'm gonna take a little break on these dupe videos because i feel like i've been doing a lot of them unless you guys want me to continue then i definitely can let me know other perfume content that you would want me to do definitely leave me some video recommendations that you may have for me in the comments but that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video bye